Assalamu alaikum, Primary 2. Welcome to Discover. I hope you and your family members are safe and healthy. We're still in Chapter 1, A Day in My Life. Last time, we learned about choices and priorities. As long as you made choices and set priorities, I think you will not face conflict. Oh, conflict? What is conflict? Sometime you face problem with your family member or with friends. Sometimes you're facing you face problem in working with them. This is called conflict. So a conflict is a problem with another person. A conflict is a problem with another person. Let's see.
Miss Erin Doctor presents The Art of the Compromise. A compromise is a really useful way to solve a problem between two people. In order for a compromise to work, both people get a little of what they want, and both people give up a little of what they want. Let's look at a couple of examples. These two they have are a conflict of a game. They each play the game a little bit differently. They can compromise by playing the game following one set of rules first, so the and then playing it again using the other set. If you have trouble deciding who gets to have their way first, a game of rock, paper, scissors, or a coin. A game of paper, scissor, a rock might be a solution. It could be a way to solve the problem between you and your brother or your friend. So, please do it to solve the conflict. Coin toss are two quick and fair ways to make the decision. Fair and turn taking is a simple, easy solution for many kinds of problems. Look at these two boys. Another conflict. One wants the windows open and the other wants them closed. Okay, but we will do. They can compromise by having the windows open. Compromise on the door together. Solve the problem. Back. It feels more fair if you can take turns having your way first. So now, you have to find and you have to solve the problem. You have to find a conflict resolution, okay? Another strategy to solve the problem, apologizing. Apologizing. What are the steps to apologize? First, think to yourself. Think, did I do something wrong? Oh, I have to think, did I do something wrong? Okay, what next? Look at the other person and talk to them in a calm voice. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Say I'm sorry that I did so and so and so. Okay, this is another way to solve the conflict. Let's together work on our project for this chapter. Let's create a play. A play? What is a play? Look at this picture. It's a, it's a, it's a theater where the play takes place. Okay, here the play is going to take place. I want you to open your student book to the page titled Planning a Play. Planning a Play. There are many parts in the play, like the topic. Topic is what a play is all about. Our play today is about Two friends fighting, fighting over a toy. Two friends fighting over a toy. What about the C? What about the script? A script tells the characters what to do and say. We have here two characters, elephant and hippo. And this is going to be the dialogue. This script is just like that. We have also something called props. Props. Props are objects used during the play. The objects that you use during the play. Here in our play, I'm going to use what? A toy. I'm going to use a toy. What about this scenery? about the scenery. Scenery of the play gives clues to the audience about where 
the play is taking place. Where the play is taking place. Here our play we're going to take place in the jungle. In the jungle. Let's see. This is the elephant and this is the hippo. I love my new toy so much. Oh, is this a new toy? our play for today. I hope you like it. And as usual, time flies. See you next time. Inshallah.